Yeah. Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Hedera Consensus Service demo chat application. It's an easy way to get started building web-based applications on the Hedera Consensus Service for pub sub messaging. Let's get started. So for this tutorial, a great place to start is the Hedera Hashgraph official GitHub organization. Here you'll be able to find the Hedera HCS chat.js demo, which is an example application that I've built to make it easy to get started using the Hedera consensus service. From here, you'll be able to follow the readme and learn how to get this set up on your own. But if you prefer, follow this tutorial and I'll show you how to get started in just a few minutes. So from here, you can clone or download this repository to your local machine, however you prefer. I'm going to copy this URL here and I will download or clone this project into my Visual Studio Code development environment. So flipping back over to Visual Studio Code, I will open up a new terminal. And within this terminal, I will run git clone and paste in that URL that I copied from GitHub. This will allow me to download the project to my local machine. And you can hear, you can see here that it's downloaded to my local machine. And the next thing I'm going to do is open up this project into the side panel. And you can see that Visual Studio Code should have downloaded the exact project that you would have found on GitHub. And you can verify that it's the same just by ensuring that all of these files and folders are now available in your Visual Studio Code instance. So if you follow the readme, you can see that one of the first steps is copying the sample environment and renaming it into a .env. So let's do that now. So I will copy and paste this information and create a new file named .env. Within this new file, I will paste in that example format, and then I will add in my account ID and my private key here. Please don't share this information with anyone. And so after I've done that, I will close my .env file and I will close the env sample as well. I'll go back to my readme where you can see that the next step is going to be running npm install. So I will open up a terminal again and run npm install. This will use the node package manager to get any dependencies required for this project. Awesome, and there, you can see that this has successfully installed all of the dependencies required for this project. The next thing that you're going to do is run node server.js, which will start up the server that powers this application. And if I run this command, we should be prompted for some configuration details for the project. Asking what mode you'd like to run in is asking what kind of output or details you would like to see in your terminal when powering or using this application. In this example, I'm just going to use the default mode. The next question it's going to prompt you is your account ID. And you'll see that it if you leave this empty, it'll default to the value in your .env file. So I could type in my account ID here, or I can use that env file that I actually configured and populated with my details. Similarly, it'll ask you for your private key. 
If you have added this to your .env file already, there's no need to add anything here. And the last question it will prompt you is if you should connect to an existing topic or create a new topic on the Hedera consensus service. For this example, I'm going to create a new topic. And so you'll see a variety of output that we have here. And it's, so it's initializing using our ENB configuration, submitting a transaction to the test network, and creating a new topic for the consensus service. And you'll see that it actually opens up a browser using your uh, default browser. So you can see a few details here, like the topic ID that we have just created. You can see my account ID on the test network. And you can see that I have a client connection connected to that server that we are running locally. If you go down here to the bottom and type in messages, it will send them over the Hedera consensus service, put them in a total order with anyone else that is writing to this topic or other transactions on the Hedera network. And then once those messages have been received from a mirror node, our local subscription will display them back to our chat. And so you can see here, I've just sent three messages over the Hedera consensus service into this new topic. Just to talk a little bit about what you see here, you can see who sent this message into the consensus service. You can see the contents or the body of that message. You can see the time that this has actually reached a majority of the Hedera network. And on the right hand over here, you can see the meta details about this message. So this was message number one in our sequence. So that means it was the first message in our topic. You have the running hash of this transaction, which ensures the validity of that message. And you're also able to view the transaction on a public network explorer. And you can see that we have the same details for all of the other transactions that we have sent over the Hedera consensus service into this topic. And you can see that the last message in this topic is sequence number three. That means that all three of these messages are all of the ones related to our topic that we should care about. And so that actually concludes our getting started tutorial with the Hedera consensus service demo chat application. As you can see, it's very easy to get set up with a web-based environment for pub sub messaging on the Hedera consensus service. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find the demo application useful, but please let me know if you have any issues in the comments below. Yeah.